Yo, yo, yo! What's going on, guys? <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another top 10 video about Dynasty Warriors, where in this one I'm going to be counting down the top 10 hardest things to do in Dynasty Warriors. I spent a long time trying to make up this list, thinking of different things in Dynasty Warriors that are difficult to do. I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss something, so you guys let me know down below what I missed from my list. Uh, but these are things I can think of off the top of my head. Just things that are a pain in the ass to do in the Dynasty Warrior series. As we cross through each number, I will explain why. We're going to start off with an honorable mention. And the first one we're going to be starting off with is item hunting in the old games. I'm pretty sure that the modern games have items as well. I think they're much easier to hunt though. And especially with the online capabilities, you can just look up how to get them and all that stuff. But the reason that item hunting in the old games is making the honorable mention spot, not because it's hard to do it, it's because of the tedious time that it will take for you to get those items up to a certain level or to acquire them in the first place. Definitely a grind, and that's why it's here at number 11 technically. It's more of a grind, less of a hard thing, more of a grind. Uh, some of the items are actually pretty difficult to get but honorable mention item hunting in the old game i think that's a pretty good challenge for most players and with that being said let's count down my picks for the top 10 hardest thing to do in the dynasty warriors games now starting off with number 10 similar to the honorable mention it's not because it's difficult to do uh, i think dynasty warriors 5 and on this particular thing got much easier but dynasty warriors 2 3 and 4 getting 1000 kills in those games was a tough thing to do depending on who you're playing the level you're playing on again it's more of a time thing the time that it takes to get to a thousand kills does take some time even on some of the larger maps for like dynasty wars 2 and 3 you're gonna take it's gonna take time to, to get up to a thousand at least in my opinion it was got to find something to put in the top 10 so this is what i found uh, it might be easier for some people watching but i think it's a good start here at number 10 and that's all I have. Let's go ahead and move on to number 9. Alright, coming in at number 9, I'm taking my own personal jab here. And you guys might disagree, but that's totally fine. Uh, it's the worst weapon to play as in all of the Dynasty Warriors game, in my opinion. And that's why it's here at number 9. Playing as Dion Way in Dynasty Warriors 6 is brutal. That is such a hard thing to do. I can't imagine playing on the hardest levels with him. Uh, I don't think I've ever done it. Chaos level with the Dynasty War 6 Dion Way. Oh no, I would struggle. That weapon has zero range, a giant ball and a chain. I don't like his quote unquote Y flow attack. You smash the Y button, he he rams in with his shoulder and then he spins the thing around and it's just not very good. There's not much about the weapon that I like really at all. I don't think there's anything I like about it. I don't like the grappling attacks. I don't like, I mean, the X flow attack is okay. You know, the X or the square, I, it's it's all right. You know, the Muso is great because you're invincible, but in terms of the movement, it's eh. So definitely one of the toughest things to do. 100% the worst weapon in the game. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to number eight. All right, coming in at number eight, another personal one for me. I could be wrong. If there's somebody that knows how to do this so easily, please let me know because I tried for a whole day back when I was hunting these cutscenes to try and get it. Getting the Zenji and Lushun cutscene in Dynasty Warriors 5 on the Huffay Castle level is like impo- I haven't even done it to this day yet. If somebody has a tip on how to do it, please let me know. The only reason that it's in this video is because I got the footage from Tiny Caterpillar and that's the person I was referencing for getting all those cutscenes that I missed from back in the day. And I just could not trigger this one. I played both characters, I played on both sides, I, I tried to like do it a little differently each time. It would not trigger it's a goofy looking cutscene for sure but for some reason i just could not trigger it so definitely at least to me one of the hardest things in this game is to trigger that cutscene and that's why it's here at number eight all right next up coming at number seven another <laughs> personal jab but i think a lot of us can agree with this one and uh, coming in number seven one of the hardest things to do in the dynasty warriors games is enjoy dynasty warriors 9. i don't personally like taking a lot of hits at dynasty warriors 9 uh, I, I don't think it's necessary because the game tried to do something different. We know the mistakes it's made. It's years later, and hopefully the new game will erase all of the bad memories that we have with it. But even playing the game now for content purposes, I could never play it just for fun. I don't ever see myself doing that because it's such a hard game to enjoy. It's just bland. Voice acting doesn't help. And, you know, I've, I've talked about it on several other videos how it's not their fault and all that stuff. But sitting down and trying to enjoy a round of Dynasty Warriors 9 is among the hardest things to do as a Dynasty Warriors fan. It's just, it's tough. There is so much potential with it and they just 
they, they fell you know a little short with it so that's going to be here at number seven for me let me know what you guys think about that down below all right next up coming at number six just shy of the top five one of the hardest things to do in the dynasty warrior series and just because of some of the challenges while doing it is why it's here and that's rare weapon hunting in dynasty warriors seven and eight i haven't tried the high level weapon hunting on dynasty warriors seven yet but for dynasty warriors eight the only things at least from what i've played so far the difficult ones are the time limit ones like those get pretty tough you got to make sure you have your own point with that but in terms of the difficulty i don't think it's that difficult in terms of like the because you can just play it on hard and get the best weapons on dynasty wars 8 which i think is crazy like that's so easy to do i haven't done through all of them yet but that's insane and again i haven't tried it with dynasty Wars 7 either but i'm assuming it's a similar feeling i just feel like they made it so much easier you have like the weapon smithing and stuff like that in that game so dynasty Wars 7 and 8 the Weapon hunting is not that bad, but it is difficult to do when you have to do those time things. So it's making here at number six because it's more of a, like uh, a group effort kind of thing. Like, it's like the overall challenge of doing that is what makes it difficult. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to number five. Next up, following suit at number five, we have rare weapon hunting in Dynasty Warriors 3, 4, and 5. Yeah, very difficult to do on some of these levels, especially the Extreme Legends. Um, you got to make sure your characters are ready to go because those games will make you pay. Uh, I haven't done all the weapons for all the games yet. I've been hunting them slowly in, in some of my streams and stuff some of the weapons are more difficult to get than others but those people on the harder levels the ai they make you pay they make you hurt and uh, it's definitely not a fun run to get through and try to get those weapons especially on the higher levels towards wuzhong towards hefei castle towards Ling. the people that have to unlock their weapons on those stages oh god it was rough how many people were here for the lushun thing yeah exactly it was I still have to do that. <laughs> Rare weapon hunting in the older games was never an easy thing to do. It is definitely among the hardest things to do. Some of those, it just gets rough, and uh, I think it's a good spot here at number five. Next up, coming in at number four, I haven't personally delved too deep into this mode. I've played a couple of runs, and, uh, you know, just through the couple of runs that I've seen, getting through 100 missions on extreme mode is making my top five. But, you know, I haven't heard... I mean, I've seen forums and stuff where people are like, yeah, I mean, it's like this level and this level, blow it out the water and stuff like that. But for normal people, it seems like getting 100 missions on extreme mode is a difficult thing to do without doing the save thing. Because apparently you can save it and bounce out and bounce back and back. And you can retry it over and over again and eventually make your way up to 100. But that's still, how much time is that going to take you? Because you're not going to get it right every time. You're not going to be as lucky each time. How many times you get killed and you have to restart and you have to do it over again? How many people have made it to a 100 without doing the save method? Like, it's probably very difficult to do. That's why I put it above the rare weapon hunting because it's just a survival, you know, kind of endurance kind of mode. And regardless if you do the save method or not, you're spending a lot of time. It, it, it's going to take you a long time to get to level 100 and, and that's really why it's here. The difficulty definitely is there. I'm not gonna say it's not there, but the time effort to put in to get to 100, I, I just can't imagine. I cannot imagine. Definitely a hard thing to do. Next up coming in at number three, the reason that is on this list because it's all based on RNG. There's nothing that we players can do to make this thing more efficient. We can, but at the end of the day, it's still RNG. And that's getting red hair in Dynasty Warrior 6. That is the, it's all luck. You, you just don't know when you're going to get them. You have to get the right color. And then once you get the right color, you have to make sure it has the right sentence to be turned into a red hair. And you just don't know when that's going to happen. I think there's a way you can get, I think, two or three mounts per stage, depending on who you play with and a certain map. And you collect the, the horse mounts and everything like that. And you do that eventually. And maybe at some point you'll get red hair. I know people who have been playing the game since Dynasty War 6 came out and still haven't gotten it. I don't think I've ever gotten red hair in the game ever, but I would definitely say getting red hair in Dynasty War 6 is probably among the hardest things to do because there is nothing you can do as a player to try and increase your chances of getting him. It's just all luck. You just gotta get lucky. That's just the way it is. And that's why it's definitely gonna be here at number three. That is not an easy thing to do. Now coming at number two, coming in with a silver medal, definitely something that I've experienced because because I just, I love Dynasty Warriors. I love trying to give myself a challenge with these games. The Empire spinoff is one, it's, it's so fun. It's such a fun little sandbox game for Dynasty Warriors. So making the number two spot is playing as an officer on chaos in Empire's mode. Any Empire's. Dynasty Warriors 6 and up, I think it's the only games you can go officer. I think Dynasty Warriors 4 and 5, you're not allowed to be an officer. But Dynasty Warriors 6 and up, play as an officer. But you can't really control how 
much you <laughs> advance, right? As a ruler, you, you can give your character training. You can train him up. Um, you can uh, use different people, right? But playing as a specific officer and you're only kind of stuck with them, that is a tough thing to do. Starting on chaos with nothing. No bonus points. Don't bring weapons over. Don't bring any items. You're starting at bare bone. It is not easy. Dynasty Warrior 6, I think I was playing on stream a couple times. That was a struggle. I think I got out of it offline. Offline I was playing it and I finally started to get some momentum. But I was like that for two days straight. Just fighting wolves and tigers and just getting blown up and destroyed and just nothing I could do. I couldn't fight bandits. I couldn't fight peons because I was so weak. Anybody that wants to chat, officer mode, chaos, Dynasty Warriors 6 and up, you are not allowed to become a ruler, and you can't bring any of your weapons up. <laughs> you will struggle for a while. And that's why it's going to make here at number 2 as one of the hardest things to do in Dynasty Warriors, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and move on to the gold medal. Now, coming in at number 1, should be maybe no surprise, I'm, I'm not sure. I personally haven't done this on the hardest levels yet, so I'm putting it up here because of doing it on easy or the normal levels is still so difficult and that is fighting lubu that is correct the number one hardest thing to do in dynasty warriors is fighting lubu i'm not talking about max because i have a bunch of max characters on dynasty warriors 3 usually when i play hulao gate now on dynasty warriors 3 i kind of mop the floor at lubu but play a fresh character try on easy see how well that goes for you you know what i mean because it's not an easy thing to do how many times do you have to go through it how many times has lubu ended your playthrough because, well, one, maybe you didn't know who he was, or two, you're like, you know what? No, 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 no. This is the playthrough where I try to beat him. This is the one. I'm going to do it. And then, you know, 25 tries later, you might be breaking your controller. <laughs> uh, but yeah, number one hardest thing to do in Dynasty Warriors, it could be subjectively changed. The officer mode might be a little bit more difficult, but I don't know. It still gets easier after a while. Fighting Lu Bu is always among the most difficult things to do. Dude doesn't flinch in some of the games. He's got these unblockable moves that he does sometimes. Uh, it's just a terror to go against in these games. And if he doesn't flinch... Those are the games that he's most deadly in. Dynasty Warriors 4 to me is the scariest Lu Bu. Maybe I'll do a challenge one day where I try to beat Lu Bu on the, all the hardest difficulties to see how that goes. Fighting Lu Bu is definitely among the toughest things to do. And for me personally, I'm putting it here at number one. I personally have an experience playing against him again on the hardest level. But I can only imagine, man, that dude is not an easy person to fight he's gonna take the gold medal for this list anyway guys that's all i have for the video again let me know what you guys think about it down below if i missed anything please let me know because i probably did i was trying to think of everything i could the little things the small things that people don't think about let me know if i missed anything what you guys think the hardest things to do in dynasty warriors are but anyway guys that's all i have for the video if you enjoyed the video i would definitely appreciate if you guys liked or subscribed and i will see you all in the next video thanks for watching everyone